What's going on? Mike Newman here at Impact Fitness on Broadway and Bradley. If you guys are in town this summer to check out the Chicago Bears at the training camp, Impact Fitness is the place to be. 710 West Broadway and Bradley. Ace Martino is here, Dream Wave Wrestling Champion. You got to check him out. He just first time here. He just came to do back today, and uh, we're gonna get some words with with Ace as he's getting ready for the show on April 21st. Ace, good to see you, my man. I'm glad you could stop by. I'm kind of surprised you came down here. Hey, it's you good know, to be here, Mike. I, I thought hear good things about this gym. Yeah, I, I train on only the most hardcore gyms. In the area. This, this is the place, to be. the place to be. Yeah, if you're looking for, because this place just has the old school gym equipment that uh, most gyms in the area don't offer, so thanks for coming down. So you got back today. How many weeks out of your, what, two weeks out from Fort Sheridan? Yeah, so? less than two weeks, Fort okay. Sheridan. So you're getting down to the wire now. How's your diet coming along? Diet's coming along good. Yeah. Uh, Dave Ignacy's my prep, prep coach. Yeah. Got me in a strict regimen. We're changing things up, trying to get tight. Yeah, I'm sure Dave will get you that. Go check out DaveIgnazzi.com for some information on that. I followed Dave's diet a couple years ago, so he knows what he's talking about. Plus, he loves talking the sport. I'm sure when you're on the phone with Dave, he doesn't really oh, have yeah. the phone in a few minutes. But the good thing about Dave is you get good information from him. You know why you're doing what you're doing. So that's why I like working with Dave so much. So I seen you compete last year at an NBF show. How do you feel you are now compared to where you were at the end of the year last year? At the end of the year last year, I thought I was lacking some uh, size in my back and thickness. Yeah. I definitely brought that up. Yeah, when you start deadlifting more? A lot, a lot more deadlifting, a lot of pull-ups, a lot of lap pull-downs, yeah. things right. like that. You also got yourself a good training partner in Rich Thinker, right? Yeah, I'm Rich sure Thinker's that helps there. bring your back up a little bit. Definitely, for sure. If you train with a Rich Thinker, you must be getting better. That's for damn sure. That's the stuff. So, when you guys stick to the compound basic method, the, the fundamentals, or do you kind of, when you get closer to a show, do you do more supersets, more drop sets? I just settled on. keep sticking with what I, me personally, I love drop sets and yeah. high repetition, so I'll just keep doing that pretty much up until the week of the show. Right. And whatever Vic Nasty wants me to do, I do it, because he knows. Now, as a top independent scene pro wrestler, I mean, how do you work your workouts around your wrestling? Because you got to be sore if you get done wrestling. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you get hurt. I mean, you get thrown around a lot. Even if you win, you're still hurt the next day. How do you base your workouts around your wrestling matches? I try to keep, like, depending on how the match goes, leg day is a Sunday, but if something comes up where I'm injured or hurt, we'll push leg day back and, you know, th things like that, just adjusting accordingly. But the bottom line is you got to be dedicated you got to keep pushing. If you want to make it in anything in life, natural bodybuilding or pro wrestling, you yeah. just got to be strict about that. Absolutely. And I'm sure, as an independent scene wrestler, you're on the road a lot. So how do you stick to your diet? Yeah, you might, you know, I hear some of you guys drive, you know, over three or four states to get to a wrestling match. How do you keep track of your, how do you stay in your diet when you're out of, out of town? I always pack my time. meals. Like this yeah. weekend, I had a double shot. I had a whole cooler in my trunk. Yeah. That I had our meals all prepared. That's the right. Thing. Be prepared. Yeah, that's what I keep telling my clients too. And really, yeah, that's all it takes. Be prepared ahead of time. So if you're not, if you're not, if you're not prepared, you're gonna skip a meal or eat something you're not that's supposed right. to eat. Okay. Well, good stuff. So the fourth chair. So what made you pick this show out? It's a pretty big show. You're gonna find out where you stand. How do you think you're gonna end up doing? I, I plan on doing well because when your name is Ace Martino and yeah. you're wrestling perfection, yes, no one can outdo you. That's what I was thinking myself. Now, what class are you going to be in? I'm going to be in the light heavyweights. Okay, so look for Ace Martino, light heavyweight class. What do you went in at these days? And right now, I'm at 163. Okay. That is that towards the bottom of the light heavyweight class? Uh, 150 is the bottom. Okay, so you're going to be right in the middle of the pack yeah. somewhere. Okay. Different organizations have different cutoff points. We're going to be one of the leader guys anyway, nonetheless. Light I heavies. plan on it. You know, well, good stuff. Well, let's get back to your set. I don't want you to lose your pump because of me. But I'm going to keep you guys updated on how Ace Martino does. And also, what's your next wrestling show coming up? Next wrestling show, I'll be in River Grove uh, for Chicago. Chicago style wrestling at Garen uh, Prep High School. Yeah, that's gonna be this Saturday. Yeah, always got something going on, so go check them out there. April 21st, the Fort Sheridan show. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Newman. I got some more plugs. I gotta get myself over here. Follow me on Twitter at acemartino.com, chicagostylewrestling.com, dreamwavewrestling.com. Ace Martino, Mike Newman, we're out of here. Thanks for watching.